So this is the Arduino uh, slow cooker sous vide controller. I'm gonna say my name is David Zoak. Um, and here it is, here's the device. Um, it's a simple 3D printed box um, with all my components inside. Um, but essentially what it is, is it's a controller that either sends or doesn't allow any power to be sent um, to this crock pot. Um, that's determined um, based on this temperature sensor um, that's inside of the crock pot, which is inside this nifty little spiral shield, keeping it away from the bottom of the uh, slow cooker. And uh, right now the slow cooker is filled with about two liters of water for this for this test. You can just see the time here at first. Um, I'm gonna press the button in order to get to the selection menu. Here you can select which cook you'd like to do, egg, steak, chicken. For this one, we're gonna do test, or you could obviously cancel it in order to go back to the starting screen. But we're gonna run the test code. This will just warm up our sous vide to about uh, 50 degrees Celsius, and it should hold it there for, uh, I think it's programmed in to hold it there for 20 seconds, 20 minutes, sorry, not 20 seconds. So if we start the button, we'll actually start the preheating process and flip the relay. We're about 20 minutes in, and um, you can still see that we're pretty cold. We've gone up almost 10 degrees Celsius. Um, we're actually tracking this data um, here in Excel. Um, so using serial communications and we'll be able to plot um, the temperature changes. So as you guys can see on the uh, serial logger on Excel, um, we've hit our target temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. And uh, as you can see, uh, now on the device, um, this is where you'd, if you're actually cooking some food, you'd uh, place your food in your vacuum sealed bag inside of the slow cooker, right? And then you'd press the button to uh, begin to cook. So we're gonna act like I put in my stuff. And now, because this starts a timer, it basically waits until you press the button. So I could have let this go for another hour. It's just gonna stay at that temperature, not gonna start the timer yet. Then I get back, put in my food, and I right. press this. Now, as you can see, approximately 20 minutes later, we are finished. Um, <clears throat> that's the message that prints when the cook is finished. Um, as you can see, here's the crock pot. And while you can't tell that that water is hot, I can definitely feel that it is, even just with a bit of steam coming off.